I told him if he went away, I'd let him perform. I know nothing about this dude. So I'm just going to hand the bloody mic over. Oh, I know he's short. But other than that, whatever you are, round of applause for him. I was actually supposed to come on last month, but I did not get time off of work because I'm working at Dina. But this time I asked my boss, Hey sir, can I please have the Monday off? Because I want to go to stand up comedy. Comedy? You don't have to go anywhere on Monday. Get back behind the counter. You are a joke anyway. <laughs> But it is very difficult working at Hina. <laughs> it is very difficult working at Hina. When I first started, I thought to myself that I will become employee of the year. <laughs> the employee of the century. <laughs> so I thought to myself, every day I have to say like that. On the first month, I'm saying like that. Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. For a while, sir. For a while, ma'am. <laughs> then the second month. How many people come inside, you know, every day? Like 3,000 times in one day. I'm saying like that. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Assalamu alaikum, ma'am. Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. By the third month, I'm becoming confused. <laughs> I say like that. Assalamu alaikum, ma'am, sir. Good evening, ma'am, sir. <laughs> Joseph, why are you saying ma'am sir? I said, I don't know why I'm saying ma'am sir. <laughs> Maybe because I live in ma'am sir. <laughs> I have a problem. I have a big problem. Not a visa problem. <laughs> but a big problem. I notice, there's a lot of people that make fun of us. Why is that? They always make fun of our accent. But this is the difference. When I finish from my work and I am going home to my apartment with my friends, and we are closing the curtains, we are also making fun of you. All of you. I work at Inat. I see you every day. You and your weird purchases. So I tell my friends, hey, pare, listen to this. I am working. 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> One American man walk inside the, the shop. He come to the counter with 12 Red Bulls. One carton of cigarettes. Some car polish. A 24 pack of condoms. And a single carrot. <laughs> selling carrots at the gas station. But most importantly, most importantly, I do not work at Enoch and I am not Filipino. My name is Mohamed. Mo is actually spelled on my passport. M-O-H-A-M-M-E-D. Mohamed is silent. In the States, it's pronounced Terrorist. <laughs> right? Calm down, calm down. So, I'm from four different countries. I am Saudi, Emirati, Thai, Chinese. All my, you know, all my friends, they call me all the time, you know? They call me a cocktail. The more intelligent one, call me a food court. <laughs> I prefer to refer to myself as a massage parlor. <laughs> Honestly, no, really, really. I was really trying to help these guys revolutionize the massage parlor industry, right? So I went up to them, I went, hey, listen to this. Why are you only giving happy endings after the massage? Why don't you guys go all out, like capitalize on this? And introduce the once upon a time as well. And I can see it right now. <laughs> I 
I can see it right now. I can see, you know, a lady standing outside the massage parlor. Hey, baby, you want once upon a time? Oh. <laughs> but it is also very difficult for me being Emirati, especially here, case in point, you thought I was Filipino. <laughs> so, whenever I do meet another Emirati man here, and he finds out that I'm Emirati, where are the Emiratis at? Serious emiratization needed here. So, hey, shut up! Where is she? Here. Uh, allocation two. So, when I do meet another guy, he finds out I'm Emirati, they like to engage in this Arabic conversation. Right? And when I tell him that I don't speak Arabic, it's like, <gasps> Emirati with the rest of the concoction overseas. You know, I go out, I meet a lot of people, I have a good time. So when I meet them, they always ask me, hey bro, where are you from? I'm Saudi, Emirati, Thai, Chinese. <laughs> All right, like a cocktail. <laughs> yes. Like a cocktail. <laughs> All right, bro. So we, you know, we can have a couple drinks and stuff. You know, and then they bust out with their questions. Hey, bro, bro. How do you say cheers in Chinese? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Kanpe! <laughs> Who's drinking tonight? Who's drinking tonight? Yeah. Alright, repeat after me when I say the next one, alright? So then they ask me, after a couple more drinks, Hey sir, how you say that one? How you say cheers in Thai, huh? How you say cheers in your language? <laughs> oh, in, in Thai? Alright. Chayo! Chayo! And then after a couple more drinks, they ask me, Hey man, how do you say cheers in Arabic? Uh, all right, I got it, I got it, I got it. Haram! But, it is, you know, I'm going to say something that I'm sure a lot of you guys will, will agree with me. But Dubai is one crazy ass place, right? It's one great, I love this, I'm from here. Don't, I can't be deported, so I can say that. <laughs> but it is a crazy ass place. I mean, it's not enough that these guys roll around in BMWs and Porsches and whatnot. No, that's not enough. You're from Dubai. They have to stick a fucking line in the front seat as well, right? Is that maybe because we didn't grow up around exotic animals? <laughs> but ask any African man. Right, because as far as I can remember, the most exotic thing I've ever seen in an African man's house was his Asian girlfriend. <laughs> so ask any African man, and this is what he'll tell you. Eh, why would I want a lion in my house? <laughs> if I want to see a lion, all that I would need to do is open my front door. <laughs> and then get in my Mercedes and drive to the zoo. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. That's my story. The only reason he's getting so many claps is he's allowed four wives and all of them have five kids. <laughs> now, I love Mo. Mo's, um, yeah, despite the fact that he followed me home from um, the petrol station. I wish he hadn't told you about the...